Good afternoon. My name is Dennis Redman. I'm here today representing World Without Wars and Without Violence in the Community for Human Development. And we have gathered here today to honor all those who lost their lives in the attacks of September 11, 2001. They were innocent victims of the world. And through them and their sacrifice, we recognize and honor all the innocent who have been killed through terrorism, wars, and other acts of aggression. We denounce these acts because the taking of another human life is the greatest form of violence. We are also honored to have with us today marchers from the World March for Peace and Nonviolence who have been circling the globe since October 2nd, calling for a world free from wars, nuclear arms, and all other forms of violence. The marchers have also heard countless stories of those daily acts of discrimination, oppression, and psychological suffering that still inflict so many on this planet. But we are also here because we recognize what violence does to those who perpetuate it. It robs them of their humanity, their dignity, and it leads them in a direction of enclosed contradiction. Martin Luther King warned us 40 years ago that any country that engages in continued acts of violence, no matter what the cause, is on a path to spiritual death. If we want true reconciliation, it's because we do not seek to change what has happened, nor to recapture something that has been lost, but rather to understand, so it does not happen again. We want reconciliation because we do not want to get caught in the endless cycle of resentment that ultimately closes off our own future. We want reconciliation because violence produces more violence and because the golden rule has taught us through the centuries not to inflict on others what we do not want inflicted on us. I'm very pleased to introduce Terry and Anne from September 11th Families for a Peaceful Tomorrows. Thank you, Dennis. Um, my name is Terry Green. Um, it, I lost my brother, Don Green, aboard United Flight 93. I'm here with Anne Mulderry, who lost her son, Stephen, at the World Trade Center behind us. We're members of the organization September 11th Families for Peaceful Tomorrows. That organization was formed with over 200 family members shortly after the attacks of September 11th in order to turn our grief into actions for peace. We're also here as representatives of an international network for peace comprised of organizations in countries around the world we're here together to support and welcome the marchers from across the world who are here to fulfill our vision of breaking the cycles of violence. Now, Anne. Thank you, Terry. We're standing at a site where beloved people suffered and died at the hands of other human beings, but also at this site through the smoke and flames, individuals valiantly struggled. Many braved the fr flames to help others. I invite you to join us to stand together, united, not against, but for one another. Thank you. Thank you, Ann. I'd like to invite Rafael de la Rubia, the spokesperson of the World March for Peace and Nonviolence, to say a few words. Estar en un lugar como este eh, es una situación muy difícil. To be in a place like this one puts us in a very difficult situation. Porque es muy difícil entender y explicar o comprender estos estas situaciones de violencia extrema. Because it's very difficult to understand these situations of extreme violence. Normalmente tratamos de, de justificar, entender, comprender por qué se producen estas situaciones. Normally what we, you try to do is, is understand, comprehend 
why these situations are produced. Y además, lo que surge también es qué respuesta dar frente a eso, cómo hacer, cómo evitarlo, cómo, cómo conseguir que no se produzcan este tipo de situaciones. And then you find yourself searching for responses. What, what can you do? What's to be done so that these kind of things don't happen again? Creemos que en el fondo de nuestros corazones, en el fondo de nuestra existencia, hay una fuerza enorme. We believe that in the, the depths of our, our hearts, in, in the depths of our existence, there is an enormous force. Y esa fuerza podemos proyectarla. And this force can be projected. Pero tenemos que creer en eso. But we have to believe in this. Vivimos en un sistema en el cual estamos llenos de violencia, de distintas formas de violencia. We live in a world which is full of different forms of violence. Y cada día contribuimos a esas formas de violencia. And every day we continue, we can contribute to this, this form of violence. Chonemos sobre que es la no violencia, la no violencia en nuestro interior, lo que nos va a abrir el futuro. Let's reflect about what is non-violence, the non-violence within us that will open the future. Que no es una cosa pasiva, la no it's not a passive thing. Sino que conectar con la fuerza de la no violencia es lo que produce un gran canal de energía. To connect with the strength of non-violence produces great energy. Y deseamos que puedan abrir el futuro y que esas pérdidas sirvan para abrir un futuro mejor. And, and that these losses can open the future for something better. Gracias. Thank you very much. Of reconciliation. Here we are, those who have seen the horrors of a new barbarism passing before our eyes. Here we are, those who deny the right of any person, group, or a nation to inflict pain and suffering on others. Here we are, those who believe in the human being and their best intentions. Here we are to bear witness that the human voice is not full of resentment and hate. Here we are to announce that a new sensibility has been born and that another world is possible. We reject the use of war and violence to solve political problems and that no one for any reason or under any circumstance possess or use nuclear arms of any kind. We call upon our brothers and sisters around the world to seek resolutions to our conflicts that go beyond revenge. We do not seek to forget nor to forgive but to understand and to reconcile so that together we may move forward. We ask for this light to be ignited in the minds and hearts of everyone so that the struggle might take root and grow with strength. Now let us ask from the bottom of our hearts, let us ask from this space where all human beings recognize their similarities above their differences, that those who hold the power regain their reason and give up violence. Let us inhale a deep breath of air. Let us take our hands to our hearts and ask for reconciliation with ourselves and all those with whom we share this small planet. To all of us, peace, force, and joy.